Well, since salt water is very conductive, it can make the pro pointer react just like highly mineralized ground can. So what you want to do with that, is you notice when I put it in, it's reacting to the salt water. I simply want to hit the button off and on again real quick to retune it. And now I'm able to search in this salt water. It comes back in and gets real moving around like that. I can actually do it again, tune it down even more, and continue searching for my coin here in this salt water that I detected a second ago. I'm getting a good hit right in there. Yep. And there I've got one of these pesos coins there. So I've still got detection even though I've tuned it out against the salt water. Now when you see running water like that, it'll probably continue to sound off. If you're searching in that environment, you just have to keep retuning until it settles down again. But when you don't have running water, what I'll do is I'll just lift it up in the air Turn it off and back on again, that resets it. So when I'm in this calm water, it's actually pretty good. Now I get a little bit of interference from standing water. One, two, back on again. I'm able to search. And again, the running water comes in, off, on. I can calm it down as much as I need to so that I've still got detection capabilities. So a little trick for retuning. Uh, mineralized ground and salt water definitely helps out. Of course, you don't want to completely submerge it, but you can get the tip end of it there in the sand or in the salt and dig through that. So it's good along the beach and along the edge of the wet shoreline.